Hello, folks, and thank you so much for tuning in. I do want to apologize um, to anyone this video might offend. There is going to be a truth that perhaps you did not think about, and you may have looked at the title and you think you know where we're going with this, um, but probably not, because <clears throat> a lot of times we look at the word and we we think we know what it says, but then you look at it another day, maybe another year later, maybe five years later, and you know what? It has a deeper meaning to you. It has a meaning perhaps you never knew could be unfolded until it was revealed to you at that moment. And so this is one of those, one of those videos where it's a revelation that... Um, is it can be heart it can be heart changing it can be heart changing uh, that's for sure and that revelation that i've come to is that if you have faith in the lord jesus christ you can be considered trans i said if you have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you can be considered trans. Now, that word is really big in our society today. Uh, it is a prefix. Remember, we learned that in school. Trans is a prefix. And uh, some people, uh, they do identify with trans. But if you're born again, blood-bought believer in Jesus Christ, you are trans as well. You are trans as well. And I know you want uh, footage of this. Let's go ahead and get to it. Let's get to the scriptures. What does it say about you being trans? In Colossians 1 and 13, it says, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? And if that was not enough, we have Hebrews 11 and 5 that says, By faith Enoch was trans did you know enoch was trans come on enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because god oh come on now god had translated him for before his translation come on now he had this testimony that he pleased god you see, there is a life that we've lived. There was a character that we identified with before our translation and after our translation. Before our translation, we were dead in trespasses and in sins. The Bible calls it the old man. Since our translation into the kingdom of his dear son, we have been translated into the kingdom of his dear son. After our translation, we are now identified, according to 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, with the new man, a new creature, a new human being. All the old things have passed away. Behold, all things are new since our transition, since our translation by the Spirit of God. And so this, I know, is good news to you, believer. And if you have any questions, those that perhaps are not believers, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Drop a comment below. Let me know how you like this video. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.